you don't have decent branding online, you might as well not be in business because at least if you want to get started, I don't think to grow a business, you're going to need that stuff, especially yeah. in, in our industry. I officially got into the business about six years ago, but prior to that, maybe like eight or nine years ago, uh, me and my business partner, he used to drive a taxi. His, him and his dad used to drive a taxi for a little bit. This was kind of like right around when Uber was getting started. And uh, this time, you know, we were friends and we liked business. We just always been kind of like entrepreneurial. So uh, at some point, I th- it was one of the taxi guys like reached out to my, uh, my business partner. It's like, hey, do you want to start a limousine company? Uh, you know, like you'll be under my insurance and whatever. So, you know, he kind of approached me and we all kind of did this thing. We, you know, we went to Maryland, bought like a town car, you know, started this, you know, started this, this limousine company. This is like eight, nine years ago before Delaware limo. And uh, so I remember we were just like, we would kind of wait around because we were expecting this guy to kind of send us trips. That was kind of the expectation. Like, hey, we'll pay you, you know, we're paying you your 500 bucks, a, you know, a week for the plate or whatever. We didn't realize we were being conned the entire time, but uh you know we were supposed to get trips and stuff but at the same time we kind of did our own thing so we you know made the google listing we did the yelp and we were you know running ads made the website because my business partner has a background in the website so flash forward like maybe six months eight months later we're not getting any trips nothing you know we were getting some of our own trips like here and there but it didn't justify paying two thousand bucks to this guy for you know this plate that we could have got you know for our own you know for for free basically uh, oh, you know, so we, yeah, so we stopped, we stopped the business and this was like, you know, a long time ago and then kind of did our own thing. We, I got into marketing more, I got like an SDO job, you know, he was working at a digital marketing agency as well, kind of working together. Um, and then randomly actually, so this is just a random day. I was kind of thinking we're, you know, we're working at the same uh, company called Haibu, which is like a corporate digital marketing place. And I was kind of like, Hey. He was still getting calls. Like, so this is like, okay, so this is like three, maybe like three, four years or something like that later after this whole limousine. Uh, Had you launched a site with like initially when you, oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. So, so we, we made our own website. It was Delaware Limo Taxi before. Had our own website, had our, you know, Google listing, Yelp and all that other good stuff. This is like 2012, 13 ish. Um, But he was still getting calls. Like, so, you know, we were, we work in, he's still getting calls and he's been, you know, the whole time he's been sending it to his dad to, you know, because he was still driving a taxi. So we were yeah. sending the trips to him and then, you know, like here and there, it wasn't, it wasn't anything crazy. Uh, so at this point there was no, like, you know, there's no real business at this point, but, you know, randomly I was like, now I wonder if we can, you know, cause I, I like marketing. I was like, I wonder if we can make this thing kind of work a little bit more. So ended up, uh, looking back into the Google list thing, they just texted all of our friends, like everybody we knew, you know, like, Hey, look, drop a five-star review or whatever review that you want, you know, just, you know, make it sound good. Don't make it sound too good. And you know, whatever. So this is, and this is like six, six, seven years ago. So I had all of our friends, you know, with five-star review and, uh, you know, we saw the website and stuff and all of a sudden, you know, we're again, like 300 calls a month. Cause this is still like, this is, this is, yeah, this is, you know, back in the, the the heyday of SEO, I guess you could say. Um, it's starting getting like 300 calls a, a month. So Google he's still working business l- listing, right? Google, Google business. Yeah. It, exactly. Yeah. 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 So, you know, we're getting a ton of calls. We're both working the same job. He's like taking calls in the bathroom in between like phone calls for work. So at a certain point, like, okay, maybe we should turn this into a real business. And basically the rest is history since then. We just kept kept it going. So, yeah. Dude, those Google Here business listings, it's crazy how many calls you can get. And, and the best kind yeah. of leads, as we both know, mm-hmm. are phone calls, right? And yeah. 300 mm-hmm. calls a month, like just to pay for those through Google ads. Mm-hmm. First off, like calls cost way more. And and typically when mm-hmm. you have like a landing page with a form and a phone number, you get way more forms. Mm-hmm. Uh, but even yeah. at like a $15, <clears throat> $20 cost per lead, uh, that Google listing was is worth like forty five hundred to six thousand dollars a month, which is yeah. crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. Like the Google listing is huge. Like, look, if you don't have good reviews and you know, like, obviously, deliver your service. And I'm not saying you know, text all your friends. I mean, maybe text all your friends, but at a certain point, like, if you're just better than the competition, like, I'm not saying that you know, obviously, our friends, you know, give the reviews. Sure, no, it's, no. I yeah, get your I point. That, but, <laughs> but yeah, like it's huge to be like, you have to be 
like that's at standard now. Like if you're not on Google, you don't have a website, you don't have decent branding online, like you might as well not be in business because at least if you want to get started, I don't think to grow a business, you're going to need that stuff, especially yeah. in, in our industry. Mm -hmm. Totally. And so uh, what Alan's referring to <clears throat> for those that don't know, so the Google business listing called now, I think it's called the Google business profile. It used to be called Google yep. My Business. Those are the listings mm -hmm. that show up under the ads. Typically, there's usually three mm -hmm. listings in there mm -hmm. and it shows up. Uh, it shows local businesses, really. And so mm -hmm. um, you started that listing, what, in 2012, 2013? And is that, yeah. and you were doing a little SEO yeah. and, and yep. you were in that three yeah. pack starting in what, 2013, 2014, or it, it exactly. sometimes takes a few years, but uh, yeah, man, that's mm -hmm. incredible. Um, yeah. And so what did you guys s start out with? You started out doing black car, right? And then did you yeah. transition into the limo side, like stretch limos? Yeah. Yeah. So we were originally called Delaware Limo Taxi. That was like the right. original name that we had. We actually had that name only because of SEO, because we were like, okay, what are people searching? Delaware? Limo? <laughs> Actually, they were like, all right, <laughs> yeah. make it our name, like whatever. Uh, and then after a certain point, we dropped the taxi. But anyways, yeah, we started with the black car service. Uh, you know, we started with one 2017 XTS. We bought that thing from like upper, upper Michigan. Um, and then, uh, you know, just kind of kept going that. So we bought an additional, you know, two more sedans. Then we bought a stretch and we bought um i think uh sprinter and then and then just started just we just kept buying stuff we just kept getting yeah. busier and busier and busier mm -hmm. so and, and that was interesting because yeah uh we talked what was that, a year ago or i forget how long but i remember mm -hmm. when you told me oh we got a sedan then we got another then we got another i'm like whoa that's so crazy because mm -hmm. in this industry you typically hear about mm -hmm. people starting with an suv then and then they add a second and maybe they get a sedan but you did sedan, yeah. sedan, sedan because yeah. of the lease, right? Broke. The market feedback, <laughs> right? Well, like, both, both, both. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, oh, oh, didn't have a lot of money. <laughs> right, right. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that makes that sense. That was probably the biggest reason. Uh, yeah, but you know, we were getting a lot of sedan calls. And then for the SUVs, I don't even remember what we were doing the SUVs, to be honest. Um, but yeah, we were getting mostly sedan calls in most of our trips now. And we have more SUVs than we have sedans. But uh, we get more so they had trips and we get SUVs. But yeah, honestly, we just didn't have the money to afford like an okay. SUV. So we're like, All right, yeah. let's just get, you know, this XTS is good price. And then we got another one, another one. They were just, you know, honestly, we probably made a lot more mistakes than we should have in the beginning. I wish I wish I'd have known to just buy an SUV to start. Yeah. <laughs> and so in the beginning there, I mean, most of your client acquisition, I'm guessing, was from on online right i mean you had a great start mm -hmm. with that google business listing yeah yeah yeah. At, yeah at first that was basically the majority of where our business came from uh we started dabbling into google ads a little bit later on probably maybe like a year and a half or so into the business is when we started getting into google ads um but yeah the majority of our business was from our google listing and just seo in general because we did have that website too uh and this is when SEO was a little bit better than it is now, as far as the website goes. Um, yeah. yeah, we had that website since like 2012, so there, you know, it had a long time to kind of season, and and over time, it was just, uh, yeah, that was a that was a huge part for sure.